guys doing today? <laughs> I know you guys cannot see me because we, um, the food is covering my face, you guys, but that's okay. Here I am. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I miss you all so much. Another late start to the day, you guys, but we're getting it done. Honey, we're on day 17, okay? 17 days in. Y'all, can you believe it? This month is flying by already. You guys, make sure you catch up on the previous videos. I cannot believe we're already on day 17. We're already more than halfway through the month, and I thank God for giving me the strength to get this done, you guys. I might It might be a late start, but honey, it's getting done, and I'm so excited about that. Um, just the dedication and the commitment to what I said I was going to do. It just means so much to me to keep my word, you guys. So today what we have on the menu is honey, garlic, uh, lamb chops, you guys. Honey, garlic, lamb chops. And I have, you guys can't see it, but we have some cheesy mashed potatoes um, that I made. And shout out to my girl, my full figured life. She taught me how to do mashed potatoes this way and I've been doing it like this ever since. So she says to create a roux. So that's basically like butter, heavy whipping cream, um, a bouillon cube, if that's what you wanna do. All your seasonings create a roux and then you add that to the mashed potatoes and it really is such a game changer and I've been doing it ever since. Um, I went to Red Lobster and I had their they're crispy Brussels sprouts. So that's what this is over here. The crispy Brussels sprouts. They're a sweet, spicy, tangy flavor. If you guys don't like Brussels sprouts, I promise you, if you try it this way, you might really like it because nobody wants, I mean, maybe you do. I like Brussels sprouts. I love green leafy vegetables. I love vegetables, period. So I can eat Brussels sprouts anyway, but I know some people absolutely do not like Brussels sprouts. But if you try it this way, I guarantee that you might have a different perspective on Brussels sprouts. So what I did with these lamb chops is I marinated them. I didn't marinate it for 24 hours. I marinated for about maybe four or five hours in my refrigerator. I seasoned it, um, you know, with my favorite seasoning, salt, pepper, you know, garlic powder, onion powder, the whole nine yards, nothing major. And then I went ahead and I put these in the air fryer and I made the honey garlic sauce on the stove. Now, if you guys don't have an air fryer, you can sear these and it's pretty much the same exact thing. Um, but I didn't like lamb chops. I thought I didn't like lamb chops in the past, but they're really, really delicious. Um, the way I've been eating them, which is either pan seared or um, in the air fryer. And then you create the honey garlic sauce and you put that on the stove, let that bubble, let it get thick, and then place these after you take them out of the air fryer or after you pan sear them, you add the sauce to it. The sauce is also drizzled on the mashed potatoes. You can't see it right now, but you will see it as I eat. I don't wanna be before you too long, and I also sprinkled, of course, some green onions to make it look gorgeous and also give it that flavor. It's really delicious. So let me go ahead, I have water here on the side. Let me go ahead and say my blessing, and let's go ahead and get into this food. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you so much for what you're doing in my life today. I pray over this food right now, God, that you bless it. Let it be nourishment to my body, God. Thank you so much for giving me the strength to press forward every single day, God. You're teaching me persistence, consistency, and discipline, God. And I thank you so much, Lord. I ask that you bless the viewers. Bless them with something amazing to eat, God. Bless them with their, their needs. Bless them with their desires, God. Bless them with a blessing, God, an unexpected blessing, God. I thank you so much for your protection, for your love, God. Cover us in the name of Jesus, God. And I thank you for all that you're doing. In your name, I pray. In Jesus' precious name, amen. <laughs> you guys, this looks so good, honey. This looks really, really good. Let me take a sip to that. Mm. It looks amazing. Honey, presentation is everything presentation is everything we eat with our eyes before we do anything so let me go ahead and start with this one in the front oh you guys look at that can you guys see how delicious that looks it's crispy uh that fat is delicious on there um lamb has really delicious fat and a lot of people don't know that 
Mmm. It's tender. Mmm. 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 Wow. Mmm. 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 This is good, y'all. Wow. Mmm. Wow. Look at that. It is so delicious. Yum. Mm. I don't have a fork for my brush spot, so I have to eat it with my hands. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. Honey glaze garlic lamb chops. Mmm. It's crispy. The fat on this. Has so much flavor. Mm. Let me show y'all the mashed potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. I like my mashed potatoes creamy. Mmm. I don't like my mashed potatoes too thick. Mmm. But of course you can make it however you want. Wow. I'm gonna pour some of these down so y'all can see me. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I think this is super easy to cook. Ma'am. If you never had lamb before, it's very tender. And it almost reminds me of steak. Almost. Mmm. That is seasoned so well. And so delicious. Mmm. I hope you guys are doing incredible. I would like to give a shout out to Someone very, very special to me. Someone that really allowed God to use them. And I don't believe in coincidence, coincidences and I don't believe in things just happen by mistake or by accident. So I want to give a shout out to Anita. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for being obedient and being amazing. So show your son, <laughs> show your son, mmm, mmm, y'all, yeah. oh, <coughs> excuse me, you guys, this took no time, this took no time. I think what I find with cooking that makes it feel like a chore is if you're in there all day long 
and you're cooking a whole bunch of things and it's just a lot going on i think that's when it does feel like a chore excuse me but if you prep it if you prep everything the night before mm, it makes things a lot easier mm. Mm. I use red potatoes. I love red potatoes. No, this is really, really delicious. No, in the presentation. The presentation in itself is mouth watering. So I know y'all be going through it. <laughs> mm. Sweet, spicy. Sweet, spicy, delicious. Mm. I don't know if I asked you guys, but I hope you guys are doing amazing. How are you guys? Happy Wednesday. Sometimes I forget what day it is because there's so much going on. You guys, honestly, it's nobody but the grace of God that I'm able to even do this. You guys, if I told you all that I have going on, you wouldn't believe it. And it's nobody by the grace of God. Nothing bad. But just <clears throat> very busy. Trying to stay focused. Um, tomorrow, I have... A, a, a prom client and I need to be over her house super early um because she's getting her hair and her makeup done and she has a lot of hair and I want to make sure that I get there early so tomorrow might be a car mukbang just to let you guys know and it might depending I don't know I'll bring my equipment just in case um so that maybe while she's getting dressed or whatever, I can be editing and posting it. Um, I'm just trying to use my time wisely, you guys. And I really... I really am big on my word right now. I want to be a person that... First of all, word is bond. That's number one. Word is bond. If you tell somebody that you're gonna do something, do it. Don't just be don't just be saying stuff. Um, you know, I'll come over your house and help you, or oh, I'll pay you back next week. I'll, I'll pay you on Friday, or oh this, oh that. Word is bond. All you have is your word. So if you tell somebody that you're gonna do something, do it. Don't just be saying it. Don't do that. Don't have empty promises. Don't be that type of person. Don't be the type of person where you, you say something and people just be like, oh, whatever, that person is full of crap. Don't be that type of person. If you are that type of person, try to change it. Try to do better. If you're a father and you tell your children that you're going to do something, don't just do it because it sounds good. Don't just say it because it sounds good. That child is going to be looking forward to whatever you say. If you can't do it, say that you can't do it. If you're not going to make it on time, say that you're not going to make it on time. Be a person of your word. And that's something that I want for myself at all times. Word is bond. Word is bond. And it's serious and it's important. You know, I can't tell you. You know, I used to sell cars, right? 
when I was like 24, 25, I used to sell cars and the uh, manager, the general manager used to be like, whoever sells how many cars in a day, I'm going to give you an extra thousand dollars or whatever. And after a while, he used to be saying all this stuff. We would be working so hard, meeting the quota and doing everything that he asked us to do, selling cars and being the first, whoever's the first person to sell a car today gets this, whoever the first person to do that. And after a while, he used to say all this stuff and I say, do I have your word as a man? Do I have your word as a man? That's what makes it different. And you know what happened, you guys, when I said, do I have your word as, as a man? He didn't say anything because he knows what I'm talking about when I say, do I have your word as a man? Because as a man, your word is your bond. Men know that. Maybe some women don't know that, but men know that. Your word is your bond. So if you if you going around saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and you don't do it, your word means nothing. Your word means nothing. Mean what you say and say what you mean. So, I told y'all that I would be here every day in the month of May. So far, you guys have seen my face every single day. In the month of May, we are on day 17. I'm so grateful for that. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from when I say this. And challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to do what you said you're going to do. If you said you're going to do somebody's hair, if you said you're going to help somebody with something, do it. Do it. And if you can't, if you can't, keep it real. As simple as that. You know what I mean? So, I don't know who that's for. But, it's just a little encouragement for you. Um, we all have room to learn and grow. Nobody's perfect. Not a soul is perfect. We all can improve in some area of our life. So, I'm grateful. A month is, we got what, two weeks left? Not even? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Like this is this delicious. Mmm. A baby would love this. These mashed potatoes are so good. You guys, I think when I have a baby, I'm going to feed them. I want to make my babies, I don't want to give my baby canned food. I don't want to give my baby nothing out of a can. I want to cook it and mash it up myself. They, um, whether they eat carrots, whether they eat mashed potatoes, whatever, um, uh, Blend the uh, fruits and stuff up for them myself. I think that's the type of mom that I'm going to be. <laughs> that's the type of mom that I'm going to be. I'm going to be the mom that's like just doing stuff over the top. You know what I'm saying? My baby eating good food. Um, seasoned mashed potatoes. Nothing too crazy because you know their little stomach. Can't handle all that, but you know, 
making them them little popsicles and stuff. I'm gonna that's the type of mom I'm gonna be for sure. Some of y'all might say, oh, you say that now. <laughs> I'm serious. Mm. Oh, I tore that up. I tore that up, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That was really, really good, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much. You guys will see the video in just a few moments. I know it's late, you guys. You guys are probably thinking, where's the video? It's coming. I love you all so very much. Love you all so very much i will see you guys tomorrow for another video again it might be a car mukbang it might be the video might come out again late tomorrow but it will most definitely be here and if it's not here i will put it in the community tab of why i couldn't be here or whatever the case may be <laughs> i don't like eating twice a day so sometimes you might think oh well, why don't you just post multiple why don't you just do two videos a day i don't like doing that I just feel like this is too much on my body. So, I only eat once a day. And I prefer it that way. So, yeah, you guys. I will see you all tomorrow, Lord's willing. God bless you all. I love you all. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm.